And it, oh, oh. Hey guys, welcome back to Bella Goose Lunches, or if you're new, welcome. Today we are making a peanut butter sandwich for the lunch, and I'm doing a week of field trip lunches. Now, I have never really gotten a lot of requests for field trip lunches until this year, so I thought, why not? Let's give it a try. I'm just making our peanut butter sandwich, and we're going to cut it out into the shape of these dolphins. The bread that I used today was just a store-bought bread, and what I found is if you flip it over, it looks much nicer on the other side. So she'll get a couple little dolphins, and we're gonna throw those into a baggie, as well as some carrots. But on our baggies, we are going to just decorate them really cute with these little mermaid stickers. When Bella goes on field trips, a lot of times the teacher will ask for them to bring food in a brown paper bag that can just be thrown away. You don't have to worry about carrying back the lunch boxes or losing lunch bags and things like that. So that is our plan for today's lunch. If I can get him back into here. There we go. So now she's got her dolphins and her little mermaid sticker. And then into this bag, I'm going to put some carrots. And then we're also going to pack this applesauce this is just like a little trail mix. And so we'll put a sticker under that. And then maybe a little octopus onto her jello. Also, she's getting this little smoothie drink. And I even have a sticker to put on that. This will be her lunch bag. And so I want to decorate this and make it cute as well. Here is her lunch bag. So packing her lunch, we're gonna do the heavy things on the bottom. So I'm gonna put her carrots on the bottom and then her applesauce, her juice drink, her jello, and then we have her little trail mix, her sandwich, as well as her napkin. Here is this lunch, all completed and all done. This is an easy idea, even if you aren't doing field trip lunches, if you just need to pack a lunch really easy and on the quick, this would be the route to go because that was super simple. So anyway, we won't see what she eats, but we will be packing tomorrow's lunch tomorrow. So I will see you guys in a minute. Guys, are you ready to pack another lunch with me today? Today we are packing uh, another field trip style lunch and we're gonna pack some cucumbers because I also have some hummus so I thought it'd be kind of delicious to do cucumbers and hummus Bella is looking for a cutter for me yeah that'd be fine so these cucumbers are really good. I kept them out to show you. They're just little mini cucumbers and they are perfect for dipping. So that's what she's going to do with these. And of course today we are again going to decorate. I bought these stickers at Dollar Tree. I don't know if I mentioned that. So for her sandwich, she is going to get a turkey and butter. Do you want butter on the top and bottom or just the top? Oh, just the top. So I'm gonna do two slices of turkey onto her sandwich and then cut it out. This is the weirdest shape bread. I cannot wait to be done with it. I thought I was the one who smushed the bread, but it turns out that's just how the bread is. So there is her little sandwich. And then let's decorate her lunch bag. And here's her lunch today. She is going to get the trail mix. I stuck a little dog sticker on there. She's getting a turkey sandwich. I put a little cat sticker with googly eyes under there. Uh, some cucumbers that she can use to dip in her hummus. This is just roasted red bell pepper hummus. And then I have some cherry jello with a little dog with googly eyes. And then of course, oh, I didn't put a sticker on top. Come on now. 
Here we go. Little butterfly sticker on top of there. Her little lunch bag is all decorated. And then we have a little puppy napkin that kind of ties it all together. So here is her lunch. We won't see what she eats because we can't. <laughs> we won't be with her. And then to close it up, I did end up just stapling hers yesterday. Just staple it and there you go. We're gonna pack another lunch today. I have another theme going on here. So she is getting, <laughs> let me show you these stickers. They are so stinking cute. Again, these I got from the Dollar Tree. This is how cute they are. So anyway, she is getting these little funny food looking dudes. So they all have like these little googly eyes and they're just so much fun. And let's just decorate. I'm gonna decorate everything first and then I will make her a sandwich last. Look at this. And I even have a napkin that matches. So this is like an orange slice. Oh my gosh. Look. Like you could open it all the way up and it would be like in a, a whole slice of an orange. Ah! Isn't that cute? Let's put some decorations on her food. Let's do an apple on the apple sauce. Yes. Tell me that's not so cute. Oh my gosh. This is this is a fun way to pack lunches. I, I always tell you guys, I usually pack the lunches for me because I have more fun with it than anything. So she is getting some peanuts today. She got these in her Halloween uh, basket or bucket or whatever you call it, treat bag. My parents were passing out peanuts. They were left over from my dad's uh, retirement slash birthday party. And then what do we have here? Strawberry or banana? Let's do a banana and a strawberry. That's cute. There we go. Cute. Okay, let's finish <laughs> making her lunch. So she is going to get, oh, we have to decorate her baggies still. So I have stickers on the baggies. I'm going to send her some carrots. So there's our carrots and then let's make her a sandwich really quick. She wants a peanut butter sandwich. And then I have this cute little star shape. Ah, it's gonna be a tight fit because I'm using store-bought bread instead of the Sara Lee, but I think it will be fine. And there's the little star. Let's put her lunch together. Did I even tell you what she's getting? So I stuck in here, she's getting ap apples. These are apples, no. Carrots, cinnamon applesauce, strawberry yogurt, Danimals yogurt, the strawberry banana fruit bar, I don't know what it is actually. It's from Aldi. Some peanuts, salted peanuts. A peanut butter sandwich. Oh, that's kind of weird. Peanuts and a peanut butter sandwich. Whatever. And then this cute orange slice napkin. So now all we're going to do is fold it down. And then I will give it a little bit of a staple here and here. And, or just here actually in the middle. That's what I've been doing. And we'll just staple it and her lunch is good to go. Today, Bella is getting an owl lunch. I will always love you. Oh, ow! <laughs> I get that. <laughs> so I got a sticker on her baggie there, and then I have another sticker here for this baggie. I'm not sure what I'm packing. Oh, probably cucumbers, because I'm giving her some hummus. So let me stick a sticker onto her red bell pepper hummus. We've already seen that in a couple lunches, haven't we? I'm at least one, I'm sure of it. Um, and then I have these almonds and walnuts. These are deliciousness. And they're just little cute pouches. So stick a sticker under there. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. We are done. There we go. And a little thing for that. And we'll just do this little butterfly. And now let's finish making the rest of the lunch. I'm just loving these stickers this week. They are so adorable. Okay. So field trip lunch number 
four? Is that what we're on? Okay, let's do a cucumber. And for today's sandwich, I'm not going to cut it, I don't think. I don't know. What do you guys think? I was thinking just because this bread is so weird that maybe today I wouldn't cut it. Especially since we've already had bed lunch. Do you want me to cut it in half or something, though? No. Okay. Triangle, or, or actually, maybe we should... Yeah, let's do, um, not really a rectangle because of the weird shape of it. So here is her lunch today. Pretty easy. I actually might just make Friday's lunch just to have it done as well, and that way I don't have to do another lunch tomorrow just to save myself some time. Like, I think I can because everything's prepackaged. I feel like I could have just done all of this in one day, actually. But anyway, this is what she's going to get this, or this week. This is what she's going, this is her weekly food. No, this is what she's getting tomorrow. She's going to get a turkey sandwich with some butter. I didn't cut it up because this bread is just shaped really weird. Uh, with a little owl sticker on there. She's getting the almonds and walnut mix. This is actually a really good mix that I like. And I'm going to start having this for my snack between school and hockey because it's like the perfect amount uh she's getting this guy <laughs> these are like the cutest little guys okay so this is a danimal smoothie and it is strawberry explosion flavor and she's also getting some roasted red bell pepper hummus with the cucumbers she did tell me she would prefer to eat hummus with what P pita chips yeah, yeah. But she's getting a cucumber because I need to get like something fresh, I feel like, in our lunches, even though they are um, field trip lunches that are supposed to be a little bit more fun. That's why she's getting some more of the prepackaged type of foods. But we don't have a field trip coming up for a while. So this was how I was going to do it. And I think it's fun. I think it's fun to get the lunches. Are you liking your lunch bags? Yes. Yeah. So there you go. And then she's also getting this cute little fruit bar. And I think I went through everything. So now I'm just gonna put it into her lunch bag. Heavy goes on the bottom. So even if you're packing your lunch like this at home and you don't necessarily have like a bag that you typically carry, pack your heavy things on the bottom. That way they don't get all, your sandwich doesn't get all smushed up. There's still a chance it's gonna get smushed up once you put it into your lunch bin at school. But try to be the one that puts your lunch on the top if you have a bag like this, okay? Right. Is that a good tip? Yeah. All right, yeah, try to put it on top. And then just do a little bit of tape, or you could even do a sticker on the back to hold it closed. Oh, that's a very smart idea. Thank you. I just came up with it. It only took me almost a whole week. <laughs> Throw a sticker on the back, and it's closed. That's really cute. Duh. You it's guys are probably down in the comments saying, why don't you just close it with a sticker? I finally did it on Thursday. <laughs> it's like... Flying, so I hold it up. Yeah, <laughs> it is. It's like, okay, I got it, I got it. <laughs> All right, there's Bella's lunch. We'll see you tomorrow. Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna pack her Friday's lunch right now. I'll see you in a second. Okay, I had to open it back up because I forgot to throw in her owl napkin. I've had a themed napkin to go with each of the, her lunches this week, and I had to include that napkin, so. Just thought I would share with you guys that I forgot to include the napkin. This is how I realized it. I pull out this napkin that goes with these stickers. I'm like, wait, I didn't do the owl napkin. So how cute is this napkin? It looks like he's ripping the napkin up on the corner. Oh, so cute. So here is what she's getting in her lunch today. She is going to get another Danimal. So let's go ahead and quickly decorate these things with her stickers. Okay, I'm done playing. Here is Bella's lunch. My phone stopped recording, of course. So you didn't get to watch me put carrots in the bag. But basically that's all I did and then made a peanut butter sandwich. And I again, just cut it in half because I'm going for easy today. Like really, really easy, clearly. So she's getting carrots. I'll show you the cute little doggy. She's also getting some orange jello, but the Aldi brand, I think they call it gel. So, 
with a cute little dog on top. A peanut butter sandwich because it's easy. We're going for easy this week, as easy as we can get. Peanut butter and turkey. That was pretty simple if you asked me. And then, whoa, some applesauce. Another Danimals, and that's cinnamon applesauce. Danimals with a little paw foot on the top. And some walnuts and what are these? Almonds. And here is the cute little napkin, a little doggy. So here is her lunch. Let's go ahead and throw it in the bag. And there you go. Grab a cute little sticker to stick on the back. Hold it in place. So I want to know up here, I'm going to put up in the I card. Tell me if you brown bag it or if you have a lunch bag that you typically use. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you in our next video. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button, hit that button, and comment. Bye.